So, man, uh, it seems like Brian Danielson is nearing the end of his career. Uh, he came on to um, he came on to AEW Dynamite, I believe it was, and said that you know he made his his daughter a promise that when she turned seven, that he would begin to step back from his in ring career. She is now six, and that he is a man of his word. So this is the last year of his full time in ring career. He's essentially announcing his retirement tour. And to kick off his official retirement tour, he's announcing, he has announced a match with the New Japan uh, Strong or the New Japan Pro Wrestling or the New Japan World World Television Champion, uh, Zack Sabre Jr. This match will take place in Seattle at Wrestle Dream on October 1st in Seattle. Um it's just this is just a very very exciting time I guess for him uh, and for us as fans because we're about to see a lot of dream matches. I have a feeling that we're going to see a lot of dream matches. Um, so my question to you is, who do you want to see Brian Danielson face before his retirement? The hard part is that like I always just want to see him against another technical fighter, and I feel like the only other technical fighter I want to see him deal with is Zach Sabre Jr. I mean, right. I don't. It has to be within AEW. What would you Do say? Even, does it have to be within AEW? Because I don't think they really have people. I don't think. Are, like, I don't think so. I think he his. I mean, based off of just like his deal, I don't. I don't. I think that this can extend to New Japan Pro Wrestling as well, as far as like potential opponents that he can face. Like AEW, New Japan. Who knows? Maybe even WWE. Who would you want to see him face one more time? Or just face in general? Um, I feel like AJ South has to be part of that. Just because mm. it's, it's, it's AJ. Like, AJ's been around for so long and putting on classics everywhere. Um, you can never have a bad match with AJ. So um, if I had to pull any WWE people, I do want to pull Shinsuke. I do want to pull um, AJ Styles. I'm trying to think of anyone that's worthy that, that's on the newer end. Mm. Hmm. Man, I wish the Legends could go at it still. Yeah. Because Daniel Bryan, with a, with, with, a, with a Kurt Angle that wasn't so old and broken down and not able to pick up his kids. I'm not trying to make yeah. fun of him for that. That came out bad. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kurt. I love you. I love you so much. He's just Kurt beat up and beat down and down bad, and it's just like Jesus. But I know what you mean, though. I know what you mean, though. And Kurt wasn't like so. You know, he wasn't the shit that he was in. That'd be like at the top of my my dream match card, just because. But he he can't. I'm trying to think of anyone else. I mean, I. I feel like he already did something with Kota Ibushi, did he? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I have to look it up. I'm going to look that up real quick. I don't think they did anything in Japan. It probably was many years ago. Or maybe, mm. yeah. I would like a little submission match between them. That'd be nice. That would be tough. That would be tough. That'd be nice. Um, that's what I have for now. Do you have any other people? Um, I think the only person that I want to see him face is, well, there's a couple. I want him to go against Adam Cole. Um, I need to see that match at least once. Um, well, I, I also like want to see, oh. I, I don't know. Maybe they have, I think maybe they have actually, that's a good, that's a good point, but I want to go see ahead. it again. Um, but I would also love to see a rematch of him versus Okada, but this time at Wrestle Kingdom in in Japan. Uh, yeah. I, I think that's the only thing that that uh, that has eluded Daniel Bryan is the ability to wrestle uh, for Wrestle Kingdom, um, and that would mean that he would probably main event Wrestle Kingdom, and I think that he'll be one of the only superstars that was able to main event WrestleMania and Wrestle Kingdom, which I think is a really, really cool thing. But yeah, yeah cool. I, I don't, I think I would love to see him face Swerve as well. I think that him versus Swerve Ooh, would be yeah, we never fantastic. Um, if, Jesus, I'm trying to think of like another, 
I would love to see a Danielson Omega rematch. Um, the first one was just so good. I would love to see them go at it again. Um, I'm trying to think of. I would love to see him and John Moxley versus the Young Bucks. I think that that would be a really good match. Um, so I, I, there's a there's a myriad of matches that I would like to see Danielson take. You know, be a part of before he says his his goodbyes. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. But I'm 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 happy that like not happy that he's at the end, but I'm glad that he's like one of those guys that like knows when to call it when and says like, hey, I got to take care of my family. I got to do right by my family. And if that means I got to step back away from this, then I will. And I'm pretty sure that he's going to be employed still with AEW in some type of producer role or some type of role as like a, you know, like an agent or, or, or an advisor or a coach. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad that he will be able to kind of like say that, you know, he, he ended on his terms because a lot of wrestlers don't do that. But definitely want to know what y'all are feeling as it, as it pertains to Daniel Bryan, Daniel Bryan, Brian Danielson's retirement tour. Let us know who you think he should face in the comments below.